boast on all riders on own car. And don't boast for the first race. Post 1900, number 9, picked to be tied at the Snow Bruce. All riders pass on cars. And the final event picks up a 435 is the Merit Medalist Medallion, four year olds. To bump win since then. They've been called in. Here's Jerry Hannon. White flag is raised, and they're off. Making their way to the first flight and up front for the lead. Mount Ida with Kalanisi Oak on the inside. They're closely attended by Kilcarry View as they stream out over the first flight. And making the top bend, a good run to the second, and Mount Ida moves on by half a length to Kilcarry View, who's raged up on the outside to dispute the lead, a length in front of Kalanisi Og, another length then to All the Mollies, who's followed by beautiful Betsy, as they head downwards towards the second flight in today's opening front door, Mare's Maiden over two miles. Kilcarry View and Liam Quinlan swap a place with Mount Ida and Davy Russell, two lengths in front of Kilshanvi Lady, who's Moved up from last place into third spot, and then Kalanisi Og with all the mollies, and Tokyo Getaway is on the outside of Fog and Balak as they come into the straight to flight number three. Leaders interchanging with Mount Ida just back in front of Kilcarry View, track two lengths back by Kalanisi Og, and then beautiful Betsy and all the mollies. Shanvi Lady is quickly dropped back to last place once again, having briefly made a burst down the hill to track the leaders, who are Mount Ida and Kilcarry View. Gone on four in front of Kalanisi Og, with a similar break to and fourth, beautiful Betsy. Welcome back to Mark Enright on board this mare and fourth, sidelined since the festival as they go into the bend of the halfway stage, Mount Ida, Kilcarry View. Gone six in front of Kalanisi Og, then beautiful Betsy, Fog and Balak. All the mollies next with Tokyo Getaway, and Porter Horses on the inside of High Viz. And tailing off at the back of the field is Kilshanvi Lady, who has been running in fits and starts since flag fall as they head up towards the seven furlong point. And they're starting to get spaced out. Mount Ida shifts on two and a half in front of Kilcarry View, who is very much careful in the air. Then Kalanisi Oak is in third. Beautiful Betsy is fourth. And then Fog and Balak. And this quintet have gone away from Porter Horse as they return to their point of departure. Three quarters of a mile to go. And they have another three flights to jump. And the front door, Mare's Maiden Hurdle. Mount Ida, Davy Russell, two in front of Kilcaddy View, Liam Quinlan, second. Taking closer order in third, Kalanisi Og and Paul Townend, followed by Fog and Balak and Darrow O'Keefe, who are arriving there on the outside of Beautiful Betsy and Mark Inright. This quintet beginning to tighten up, just over three lengths covering them, followed by Porter Horse and Toko Getaway. High Viz and all the mollies has dropped away. Heading down towards the second last flight, Mount Ida, rejoined by Kilcarry View. Just behind them in third is Kalanisi O, two lengths back to beautiful Betsy, who's followed by Fog and Balak, and then Porter Horse and Tokyo Getaway. At the second last flight, Mount Ida on the rail and the black and white jacket, challenged on the outside by Kalanisi O, better jump, came from Mount Ida as Kalanisi Og is now pushed and shoved along to try and get on terms and the principals have opened up a clear lead over Kilcaddy View and Fog and Balak and then Tokyo get away in line for the final flight. Mount Ida is the leader from Kalanisi Og and now there's a couple of lengths between them up the hill inside the last furlong and the front door mares maiden hurdle it's Mount Ida and Davy Russell stretching their lead 
They're deep in the closing stages and they've made virtually all and have won it comfortably from Kalanese CEO, well clear from Fog and Ballock and then Tokyo getaway. I think we've just seen